Hello everyone, it's your boy C Does back again, and we're doing another downfall video today. And today we're out taking a look at none other than Fred. Um, but before we get into where he is now, I thought we'd also take a look at what his past was actually like. So without further ado, let's just dive straight in. On June 11, 2006, Lucas Cruikshank and his cousin set up a YouTube channel by the name of JKL Productions. On the channel, they created short little skits based around several different characters created by Lucas and his cousins. On the channel is where Fred first appeared. The Fred character was a high-pitched, emotionally unstable, six-year-old boy who constantly would do crazy shenanigans. While you may say that the concept is stupid, others would disagree as the Fred character gained lots of popularity and went viral. With the newfound success of the Fred character, Lucas would create an all-new channel dedicated to Fred sometime in 2008. A very similar strategy done by Dane Bow and the Annoying Orange. Even after the transition to a new channel, the Fred character still continued to gain massive amounts of success to the point that the Fred character started to pop up in other media, from news stations to TV shows such as iCarly. The Fred character became so popular that on April 7, 2009, Fred became the first ever YouTuber to reach 1 million subscribers, a feat no one thought was possible at the time. With Fred's newfound popularity, Lucas was approached by Nickelodeon about producing a Fred movie for the network. Lucas accepted the offer and on September 18, 2010, Fred the Movie was born. Fred the Movie was my first ever encounter with Fred up until that point. I just remember chilling in my bedroom when my mom walked in with a movie from Redbox. When questioning what exactly she got, she told me it was a Nickelodeon comedy movie that I might like. After popping it into the DVD player, I began to watch the movie. By the end, as a kid, I was thoroughly happy with the movie and remember having a great time. Although nowadays, after re-watching the film, during the research of this video, I have to admit, it was pretty bad. And I think a lot of critics agreed with me. Fred the movie was universally panned by many, leaving it with a 0% score on Rotten Tomatoes. Despite the negative reviews though, Fred would go on to receive two more movies and a TV show that only lasted one season. While all films were reviewed poorly, they still managed to bring in a lot of views. With Fred 1 bringing in 7.6 million viewers, Fred 2 bringing in 5.7 million viewers, and Fred 3 bringing in 3.5 million viewers. During Fred's TV show venture, the Fred channel lied dormant and stopped producing content, leading many to believe that the channel was no more. But on July 31st, 2014, a new video appeared on the Fred channel announcing the character's return. Or so people thought. On August 5th, 2014, a new video was released titled New Fred Goes Swimming. Although instead of Lucas' original Fred appearing, a new high-pitched Korean boy appears as Fred instead. This change was met with a lot of backlash as people tuned in for the original Fred, not some imposter. In another video titled A Message from Young Sung Corporation, it's revealed that the Fred channel is now owned by Yuk Sung, a company that produces sweet sugary cereals for kids. When this came out, there was quite a lot of backlash as people were disappointed in Lucas for selling the channel and axing Fred without any notice. But what people didn't realize yet was that this was all fake. Over time, people would come to realize that the Yuk Sung Corporation wasn't actually real and that it was just a part of a story arc Lucas was trying to tell with Fred where he gets kidnapped by Yuk Sung and Yuk Sung tries to take over the Fred channel. In the finale of the miniseries, Lucas, playing himself, breaks into Yuk Sung in order to free Fred. After Fred and Lucas escape, Lucas tells Fred that he's not going to produce any more Fred videos as he feels it's time to move on. With this, Lucas disappears into thin air before Fred walks away into the sunset, wrapping up the Fred story. While this video tied up Fred's story, it didn't mark the end of the Fred channel, as Lucas was not ready to give up the whole channel quite yet. To keep the channel alive and thriving without the Fred character, Lucas announced that he'd be opening up the channel to anyone who wanted to showcase their videos. These videos including parodies, skits, and game shows featuring other lesser known creators at the time. While this was a neat idea, it wasn't very successful, as many weren't all that interested in the newer style of content. Due to this, the newer videos only received an average of about 600,000 views. People tuned in for Fred and his crazy antics, not for a bunch of other people. 
After continuing this content for roughly about a year, the channel stopped producing content in July of 2015. No reason was given as to why the channel stopped uploading, but I think it's safe to presume that because the views were so low on the newer videos, Lucas abandoned the channel. While the Fred channel is no longer making content, Lucas himself isn't quite done with YouTube yet. Nowadays, Lucas produces content for his personal YouTube channel by the name of Lucas. On the channel, Lucas does a variety of different vlog style content and reactions. Lucas still references the Fred character now and again, but he's far from the main focus. The views Lucas gets on the channel aren't the greatest for his size, but they're pretty serviceable. While Fred may be gone for good, I honestly think it's for the best. Why do I say that you might ask? Well, here's why. Unlike many viral YouTube videos that turned into series, Fred was one of the few that decided to end and not keep going for all eternity like the annoying orange. I think it's commendable on Lucas's part for knowing when to actually stop the Fred series. And honestly, I think he chose a good time to do so. While Fred is no longer with us, we'll always still have the memories of the channel in our minds. The Fred channel did things that no other channel was able to achieve at the time. And because of that, I think Fred, no doubt, deserves his place in the YouTube Hall of Fame. Thank you guys so much for watching this downfall video. If you did enjoy it, leave this video a thumbs up. On comment down below letting me know like did you have any experience with Fred yourself and also let me know in the comments like who do you want me to cover next on this series these videos take a lot of time to actually produce because I'm doing a lot more research than a lot of other people are actually doing to actually produce these videos and I want to get you the best product ever so obviously it's a little bit of time between each of these episodes coming out but I'm trying my best to get a more consistent schedule going but with that being said I've been see dust I hope you guys enjoyed this video I'll see you guys in the next one peace out this video is possible thanks to my patrons if you guys want to become a patron today then go ahead and click the link in the description or the little i card right up here and go and check out my patreon for however much you pay, you'll receive perks pertaining to my channel, including early access to videos, behind the scenes content, and much more. If that sounds like something that interests you, then become a patron today over at patreon.com slash cdusk.